Hey, and welcome to Hrefs Monthly Product Updates, brought to you today by me. I'll keep things short, sweet, and maybe slightly fluffier than usual. Grab a treat, settle in, and let's dive into this month's 18 updates. Let's start with Brand Radar. As always, massive releases here. We've launched Entities, which lets you group multiple variations of a brand or competitor name into one entity. Any response that matches a term in the group gets counted. It's a cleaner way to see your brand footprint without chasing every spelling or variant. You can also now save reports in Brand Radar. Right now, we save your brand, competitors, and market. Saved reports come with all the usual access control, so you can keep them private or share them with your pack. Next up, topics. We've added a brand new report and an overview widget that groups queries by topic based on parent topics from Keywords Explorer. By clustering queries into topics, you can sniff out new content opportunities and prioritize which ones to chase first. There's also a new filter so you can slice results however you like. We've also added a new filter builder to the overview. Think of it like the market scope filter from version one, but with more chew. It lets you exclude responses from overview charts, giving you more control over what's shown. Over in cited domains and cited pages, we've shipped two key improvements. Both reports now have dedicated filters that work on the actual domain names and page URLs. Unlike the main filter bar, which just removes responses that don't match, these refine the reports themselves, so you get a cleaner view. We've also added a new column to the cited domains report. It shows the total number of cited pages from each domain. Export is better, too. We've added Google Sheets support, and you can now download any chart in Brand Radar as a CSV file, too. In other big news, we've just released the first endpoint of the new Brand Radar API. It's for AI responses, and it gives you the same columns and filters you're used to in the app. Now straight through the API. Link to API docs below. And one more important update. The Brand Radar AI add-on is now available to Ahrefs Webmaster Tools users, even without a subscription plan. You'll need an AWT account to get started. Note that the add-on doesn't include search demand or web visibility indexes for free users. Moving on to Report Builder, please welcome our first batch of Brand Radar 2.0 widgets. You can now add mentions charts for all platforms in your reports. It's always great to sneak in an AI visibility chart when sending clients their monthly SEO reports. Moving on to Web Analytics. A few improvements here. You can now compare funnels across dates using the date picker at the top. Also, exports in comparison mode include both current and previous periods. You can export tracked events directly, which makes it easier to analyze them outside Hrefs. Next, we've added a new report called Possible 404. It flags pages that get visits but have a title containing 404 or not found, which usually means the page doesn't exist. This often happens when AI chatbots hallucinate URLs that don't actually work. Now you can catch those and fix them. Moving on to Site Explorer. We've added a new history chart in the overview for SERP features. It shows the number of positions your site holds in SERP features over time. Just like in Rank Tracker, you can see both owned features, where your pages actually rank, and total out of 19 features, and compare them side by side. The chart is interactive too. You can click on specific features and drag across a time period, and it'll open organic keywords with the right SERP features filter already applied. And one more update. The Outgoing Links report now has a status code filter that lets you find broken outgoing links on your site. This fully replaces the old Broken Links report, which has been removed. Moving on to Keywords Explorer. We've added a brand new competitor's map in Traffic Share Reports. It shows who's winning your keywords by both traffic and traffic value, with bubble size representing coverage, pages for domains, and ranking keywords for pages. Also, in Traffic Share Reports, there's a new historical trend chart. You can see how traffic distribution has changed over time, and click anywhere on the chart to zoom in on that point in time. From there, you can pick pages and plot them directly on the chart to track shifts in traffic share. Next, a highly requested filter. You can now exclude keywords that are already in a list or project from Keyword Ideas reports. This makes it easier to focus on fresh opportunities without clutter. Moving on to Rank Tracker. User notes in Rank Tracker and GSC charts are now shared across the whole workspace. If a project is shared, everyone in it can see the notes, not just the person who created them. Members with editing rights can edit any note, while guests can only view. 
there's no option to make notes private, and the change applies to both new and old notes. Moving on to Batch Analysis 2.0. You'll now see backlink counts, referring domains, and outlink data. With this update, Batch Analysis v2 fully replaces the old version. It runs faster, supports 1,000 instead of 200 URLs, and gives much more accurate link counts than the old tool. We've also added the new fields to the Batch Analysis API v3 endpoint, linked to API docs below. Moving on to our last general update. We've launched Hrefs Connect. It's our new system for third-party integrations, built on API v3. Hrefs Connect lets your favorite tools plug straight into your Hrefs account with open authorization, so they can pull things like competitive intelligence, site audit reports, organic search, and backlinks data, right where you already work. We've added extra API units to light, standard, and advanced plans for Hrefs Connect. Direct API v3 access and new app activations remain enterprise only. API v2 and all legacy integrations stop working on November 1st. Docs are linked below if you'd like the details. And we are done for today. If you have any feature requests, you can leave them on our canny. See you in the next update and have a great day.